So welcome to the video. We're going to talk about magnetic bearing. So that is true bearing plus the magnetic declination. Now that's one gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. We're going to be using our Brits map here. Um, so you can see we've got the map code, map title, and we're using a 1 is to 50,000 map. So this is what you will see on your map is a mean magnetic declination. So that is what the magnetic declination was when it was calculated in 2002. And it's also showing us our change. So the declination is west of true north. Um, that is 16 degrees 45 minutes and that was calculated in 2002. Our change is going to be 7 minutes westwards every year. So we're going to have to add that all together. So the first thing we need to find is our difference. Um, so 2020 being this year, subtract 2002 and we have an 18 year difference. So with that 18, we are now going to multiply that by our 7 minutes westward, which we know is going to be our annual change. So 18 years, 7 minutes per year, and that is going to give us 126 minutes. But we don't talk about anything over 59 minutes, really. So 60 minutes gives us one degree, and another 60 minutes will give us another degree. And if we add those two together, we get 126 minutes. So we have six minutes left over. So what we actually have here is going to be um, added together to be two degrees and six minutes westwards. So that is giving us our um, current change in terms of the magnetic declination. So what are we going to do with those two degrees and six minutes? So we have calculated that annual change to present day um, and we have the um, magnetic declination west of true north. So we have those two pieces of information um, and we have calculated that over the course of the 18 years. So 18 years will give us a 2 degree and 6 minute um, westward change. So that westward is very important because that's going to tell us whether we're going to add or subtract. So let's take our 16 and 45. We are going to add the 2 degrees and 6 minutes because we are westwards. Um, of the declination so you can see they've written um, westward declination you add eastward declination you subtract so if we add those two together it's 18 degrees 51 minutes now hypothetically if we did a calculation and landed up with 18 degrees and 61 minutes we don't have 61 minutes in a degree so you would have to convert that and move it over um, to be 19 degrees but that's not important for this one so what we're going to look at now is we are going to calculate a true bearing example so from a to b um, and that is going to give us our true bearing lining up with true north um, and say for example that's 100 degrees now let's put in our magnetic declination we know it's over to the west we know that our magnetic declination is now 18 degrees and 51 minutes um, because we have calculated that and so if we were to go from that magnetic north to our um, AB line our magnetic bearing is going to be comprised of our true bearing 100 degrees plus our new so our current magnetic declination which will give us 118 degrees and 51 minutes we don't put a west or an east or anything in here because this is now a bearing um, calculation which doesn't involve a cardinal point. And that's how we calculate our magnetic bearing. If you have any questions, write them below. Like, share, subscribe. See you for the next one.